uh, actually, I was talking to an investor last night, and she was telling me about uh, she was looking at apartment buildings in all these different cities. And I said, whoa, 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 wait. First off, start with who you want your tenant to be, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? So I have my own, I have my own criteria. Can you share? Um, so you mentioned you wanted A, B tenants. Because um, mm -hmm. my thing is life is short. I don't want to work with people I don't want to work with. <laughs> Yeah. absolutely so, yeah. yes so i've had, i have a I have, I have standards on who my tenants are can, can you share um what a b tenant means to you sure i mean i guess i can speak to that because i i managed all of our properties up until 2019 i was the property manager for mm -hmm. for everything mm -hmm. um we're you know we would never call ourselves slumlords all of our properties are really really nice they're very well taken care of and, uh, you know, we do the research on the tenants first before they move in, even if it has to sit empty for a month, two months, three months, it starts with the basics. Do they have a job? Do they have a good credit score? Um, you know, they, do they have a good history? You, you just don't want those problem tenants, I mean, who does? That's our portfolio. We always go in, Rich would find the undervalued properties, fix them up and make them really beautiful. So we wanted to find tenants that would fit that profile. And of course we can't discriminate, but um, there's certainly really nice properties. You know, some of them have like granite and beautiful hardwood and, and they're painted really nicely and they're all redone. Those are the kind of properties that we like to hold. Now I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help the beginner investor. So when you say good job, can you can you give some examples? Like what kind of what kind of jobs do your tenants have? Um, it's more the the longevity. The um, you know, have they been in a job long enough, or did they just get a job two weeks ago? And even if they just got a job two weeks ago, can they show some history? Sounds like it was almost like a job interview. <laughs> These uh, employers that have, you know what it is? It is, I, when I was managing our properties, I would even go and look on Facebook because at the end of the day, this is your investment. And mm -hmm. we spend a lot of money fixing the properties, making them look the way that they do. And we've been burned. That's not to say we haven't been burned. We've had the scammer tenants, the tenants who move in, have lied on their application. In the beginning, we had, you know, the tender hearted stories where you kind of feel bad and say, okay, well, you know, let's give them a shot. And then they end up not being great tenants and, you know, scam you out of thousands of dollars. It's just a matter of doing your due diligence. Some of it is gut feeling, but most of it is you have to do your due, due diligence. What's on the paper? What, what, uh, yeah, I guess what makes them a, a fantastic tenant and they don't even have to really I I don't need a tenant who's going to stay in there for 20 years because <laughs> oftentimes when they move out it's even better for us because you know you can uh, fix up the place raise the rent a bit we have t some tenants who have been with us for almost 20 years and others who are brand new so it's good to have a mix of both mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially the job interview part is actually I think important because mm -hmm. you have to think is this person employable <laughs> Because yeah. if there's someone you would never want to hire, then they mm. may not be able to hold down a job and then not be able to provide so pay rent. <laughs> so that's a good point. Yeah. I never really thought about it that way. Right. That's well, just think point. if someone presents themselves really poorly, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Like, it's, do they show up to yes. work like that? Can they yes. keep a job? Right. Yes. And if they lost that job, could they get another job? Right. You know, maybe they've been there since they were 16 years old right. and everybody's kind of putting up with them and they, in the office but yeah that's a good point i never really thought about it that way unless they're in unless they're in like music then 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 or a youtube influencer then <laughs> then i can't judge they often make more money than i do <laughs> True. <laughs> the tattoos on their faces and yes especially those gamers oh my goodness yeah you never know they're rolling in the dough mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't believe in judging your book by their cover but you know i need the full story then <laughs> but... yes and that's where the due diligence comes in right right well, yeah, yeah, if they show up like sure. they're like a successful YouTube influencer and they have like $200,000 on their TV4, like, okay, I need to understand this. <laughs> mm -hmm.